YouTube, it's simply Erica coming to you guys with another DIY video. So the first DIY video was the denim slides. That was a hit. Everybody was rocking them, and I'm really impressed with the people who remade them as well. My second DIY video, we're going to take another hit at a shoe that Rihanna wore as well, and they are the Saint Laurent feather, or I guess they call them the Yeti boots. Now, some people feel kind of different about them. They think they're too crazy, they're too wild. You know, they're not everybody's, you know, look. It, it really just depends on your style. And I feel like when Rihanna wore them, it just was such a statement piece. And, you know, I, I was attracted to them. I wasn't, I wasn't sure about them at first, but I decided to create my own version of the Yeti boots in a black version. Now, Rihanna's was white, but I felt like white would be a little bit too bird looking in my opinion so I decided to go with black you know they were a, supposed to be a part of the uh, summer spring fashion show um, so this is supposed to come out in the summertime for summer 18 I personally don't feel like it's meant to be a summer boot so since the winter is coming up this is a perfect DIY uh, shoe to have in your closet. Now I will tell you up front, this was not cheap to make, not cheap at all. Mainly because of the fabric I used, which was ostrich feathers, and it cost me about $17.49 per, per yard. Per yard, y'all, and that was on sale. The original price was $24 per yard. So I used about maybe five or six yards total of fabric, you know, to make these cute boots. And in the end, I'm really pr pleased with them. They look a bit much now, <laughs> but you know what? I have them on, they're really cute, and I, a lot of people said they liked them. It's entirely up to you whether this is the style you like, you know, like I said, up to you. But stay tuned and check out how I made these boots. If you're interested, then stay tuned. All right, guys, so for this project, you are going to need quite a few things. E6000 glue, scissors, ostrich feather boa. I used about five and a half yards. Depending on the height is your, of your boot is how much you will need. So keep that in mind. This was pretty costly, about $24 per yard. And of course you will need a boot. Like I said, depending on the height of your boot is how much feathers you will need for this DIY project. So what I first did was actually put the shoe on my foot. This is actually going to help you see how the feathers look on the actual foot. So I recommend putting it on and not doing it um, off your foot and just doing this on the floor. You know, actually put it on your foot so you can get measurements and see how well it will stay. Now, after that, I wrapped the boa around the ankle. Uh, starting a little bit above the zipper because you want to give enough room for the zipper to go up. And then I am going to trim it, that way it can fit the perfect uh, length around my ankle. So that is how you're going to do your first, you know, layer of feathers. And then after that, I use E6000 glue to glue it. Now, I, real, I will recommend that when you are using this, try to use this in a, you know, a ventilated area. Because using a lot of E6000 glue can be a little bit harmful, you know, when you're inhaling this. So... You know, try, be careful when using this. And it can also be messy, which is why I have, you know, newspaper under there and the feathers shed a lot. So please, 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 you know, try to keep your area clean with um, newspaper. Now, after that, I have glued it. I am going to stick it around the ankle and it will stick on. It is that easy, guys. Now, obviously, after one layer of glue, um, it's not going to stick on too, too well, so you might have to glue it a few more times, you know, underneath the boa and press it on there, guys. Just press it on there. It's that simple. And yeah, you just have your first layer of feathers. And you can continue this method throughout the entire boot. It is that easy, guys. Just measure around your leg, ankle, whatever, and fill it all the way up to the boot. And like I said, the height of the boot is going to really determine the cost for how much this project will be the feathers like i said were about 24 dollars a yard and these are ostrich feathers this was not regular boa 
So keep that in mind, you guys. Keep it in mind. So that is literally all that you have to do guys and you will have your own pair of sexy Saint Laurent Yeti boots. If you would like to see more DIYs from me then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You know the drill. Bye guys! Thank you.